So we carried the game into the city, made an appointment to see Marvin Glass, and walked into his office, and I was scared to death. It was just, his room was beautiful, you know, opulent furniture and fixtures and things on his desk. He was a little man, he was about four feet tall. He looked like a, like Mel Brooks. He was gonna be a Mel Brooks. I didn't even shake his hand. I just walked in and stood there in front of his desk and he looked at me. He kind of rolled his eyes behind his desk with the high back chair and you know, beautiful furniture and women running around the office. So, so I took it, I put it on his desk. His uh, secretary there, his patent attorney. There was another person there, I'm not sure who it was. I think it might have been his bodyguard. He looked at me and he said, what is this shit? I said, this is an idea for a game. I said, well, here, this is how it works. Dim the lights just a little bit. I said, okay, Marvin. I call him Marvin, not Mr. Glass. I said, take this probe and go from hole to hole, opening to opening, and see how far you can go. So he went, gluck, gluck, gluck. Spark jumped out. He almost melted the probe. Threw it up in the air. He says, I love it. I love it. So then he made me an offer on the spot. I'll give you $500 to a job when you graduate. 